G'day fellas, welcome back to another casted game. This game we're watching Sheckler who's playing the Dutch and he's going to be spawning in the west of the map. His opponent, you you know him, you love him, you've seen him before. It's Lawnmower Simulator playing once again the Germans and playing on this same map that we have seen him play before. And that is the Gold Coast. He's going to be spawning in on the east of the map, dropping down this early market, getting it down nice and quick. We're at 26 seconds at the moment, and he's going to be looking to get in those upgrades nice and early. Down towards the south, he is picking up a, a nice 75 wood treasure here, so this is going to be feeling very good for him. His opponent, Sheckler. However, on the other hand, spawning in the west of the map, just starting off with a, a little bit of a, a trickle. Looks like he just took the crack shot off this first colonial swashbuckler, and then he's going to come back for this later. It's probably the wisest move that he could do instead of fighting this. This guy hits really hard. He does 12 hand damage, and he does a... Oh, excuse me. He uh, he has a lot of hit, hit points, so you don't want to stuff around with him. Doing a bit of exploring out on the map. So we've got 85 XP treasure out here in the center. Got a honey badger that's guarding 35 food. We've got a 25 wood treasure down here to the south. And uh, we've got Timon and Pumbaa spawning in the base of Shekla. So it's twice that we've actually seen Timon and Pumbaa spawn very close to the base of the eastern player so one of the curious things to note now keep in mind for this map it's gold mines gold mines are gold mines baby it is absolute gold mines it's called the gold coast for a reason and that is because of all the gold that spawns around the map you can see that we've got gold mines just absolutely everywhere one two three on each player's side and then there's one in the middle and then there's two down here on each of these respective islands We've also got a couple of treasures. Oh, let's take a look at this treasure. I don't think we've seen this before. Sharker's Spear, granting your hero 50% more damage. Could you imagine this on the Chinese Explorer? Dude, that would be busted as hell. Oh, dude, that would be insanity. And then down here, we've got a settler who's trapped by five warthogs. That is spawn. <laughs> is that like under the water? Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> look at it, dude. <laughs> it actually is. Oh, all right. I probably shouldn't be showing you that. Under the sea. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Okay. Under the sea. <laughs> okay, that's enough. All right. Uh, so, Envoy to the north of the map. Uh, Going to be doing its best to scout out any more potential treasures. We take a look uh, and spot. There's, uh, there's nothing else really to be looking for. Uh, on the other hand, we've got Lawnmower Simulator, who is uh, just hanging around in the base. <laughs> what happened here? Lawnmower Simulator going down. Uh, I, I didn't actually see this. I was too busy under the sea. <laughs> like, look at the Warthog. It's just, it's chilling out under the sea. Okay, uh, if there's any devs watching this, I'd encourage you to probably look into this. I'm not sure if it's meant to be spawning this way, but uh, look... <laughs> oh, you know that's going in the thumbnail, under the sea. It's got to go in the thumbnail. Sheckler now heading up to the second age, going up with the quartermaster. No real surprise there, playing the Dutch. Uh, looking to try and get that uh, that bank up in, in transition. Now, one of the things to note, though, is that he has got this nice treasure. This feels so incredibly good for the Dutch. Look at this trickle that's coming in for him. How damn good does this feel? For the rest of this game, he's going to have this trickle coming in like this. It's the equivalent of, like, almost an entire settler. Uh, I say that. Is it, like, half a settler? Actually, I'm looking at it now. 0.27. Uh, so a settler would be 0.6. So it's it's almost half a settler. That's not bad. It's, like, 15.5 settlers right now. That's pretty decent. I, I, I would take that. I'll take that trade. When you consider, like, over, over the course of a... Um, over an age up, that's going to be, like, 60, uh, 60 coin that you need to gather. Dropping down that bank now. Six villagers on the bank, doing the right thing. He needs to get this up before he hits the first age. Um, and that is exactly what he's going to be doing. Probably a few too many settlers on that, I, I feel. But, uh, I mean, each to their own. Some people like it with six. Some people like it with two or three. Me, I'm more of a two or three guy. Down to the south. Lawnmower Simulator. Going to be taking the trading post. We'll check in with him. See what he's going up with. He's going up with the Quartermaster as well. Got those big upgrades coming through. Not too much gold taken off these bad boys, but... Uh, Look at, look at the uh, the wood that's coming in from that. We'll take a look at his deck. Once again, running the Mercs for Jerks deck. No actual changes. It looks exactly the same as we saw it last time. So uh, this one is... Uh, you know, I'm expecting some mercenaries out. We'll say that much. But, you know, one of the curious things is the last time we saw Lawnmower Simulator playing around with the Mercs for Jerks deck, he never actually sent through any of the Mercs. He sent the Mercenary Upgrade card. And he sent the Speed cards, but he never sent any of the 
mercenary cards themselves. We never saw those Jaegers, so maybe we'll see that in today. We take a look back over at Sheckler, see what he's up to, dropping down a second bank. This is the bank that you need to get up nice and quick, but keep in mind, he has taken that XP treasure down to the south, so it doesn't really matter if he gets his bank up on time or not. So typically, this bank needs to be up right as the 700 wood is coming in, so that you can send in your bank wagon straight away, and he would have he would have had it perfectly. He would have had it perfectly. So, very well timed by Sheckler. Doing a great job to scout out the map as well. He's uh, he's uncovered everything except for the most important part of the map. Under the sea. Under the sea. We, you know, we need to get that we need to get that song on. Can somebody somebody just send me through that link right now and then I'm just going to put it on repeat and we're just going to be every time a fight breaks out, we're just going to be under the sea. Church now going to be coming up for Lawnmower Simulator. Doing his best just to try and keep up in experience. Obviously playing up against the Dutch player. Taking a second trading post as well with that Explorer. And uh, going to be sending in three Settler Wagons here. And uh, and doing his best just to try and keep that economy growing. Steel Trap's going to be coming in for him as well. One Villager out on Coin. No, uh, we don't have any place of mines just in this early. But an Outpost going up now. This should probably indicate to Sheckler what is happening. As soon as you see this outpost going up, you kind of wonder. You're like, oh, hold on a minute. What's this outpost doing? And uh, and so now that you realize there's an outpost there, you probably know a little bit more about the intentions of your opponent. And uh, and now we've got uh, got a few more banks coming up. We've got four banks in total. Stable is up. But I, I feel like, you know, even with a stable going up, is it worth sending out, you know, okay, let's say hypothetically you're going to get out four... Hussars. Is it even worth it in this position? I mean, you can use it to defend against Ulans, but even if you go send in your Hussars over to the German player's base, you know that they've got two Ulans out, okay? They're not going to be leaving their base because they've got an outpost, right? So if you know that they're not going to be leaving their base, the next shipment's going to be coming in very quickly. It's probably going to be the 700 wood because we always see those toxic semi-FFs. So the question is, is is this four Hussar worth it? So there's the two Ulans. There's the... Uh, Explorer. The Explorer actually getting pull tricked away right there. Look at that cheeky little pull trick right there. Lord Mower Simulator doing uh, a little bit more pull trick simulating at this point. Akan uh, Trading Post did try and get up, but uh, going to be able to pull him back. And the difficult part is now he's going to have four Ulans because that 700 wood is going to have arrived, or at least is about to arrive. Uh, where is it? Oh, he went Silversmith first. Okay, but now you've got these four Ulans, a town center, and an outpost. It's like you're never going to have a good day. You've got villagers down here that, you know, you're looking to protect, but they've got an outpost as well. So you're just giving him the old runaround at this point. And it's like, this is fine. This is exactly what you want. And, and you know, starting to do some nice little micro here. Trading one for one. This is what you want to be avoiding right here. Miniman getting called. This is a pretty big overreaction in my opinion. Because these Ulans were going to be able to handle this. But, uh, you know, nonetheless, it's still a, a reasonable response. I can't, No, you know what? I'm going to take it back. It's not a reasonable response at all. Loan mowing simulator. Simulating a little bit too hard there, unfortunately. Uh, definitely overkilling with those Minutemen. Did not need that, but uh, it, it. I guess we've now got three Hussars down here to the south. You know what? I take it all back, Daddy. It's all gone. Sheckler, on the other hand, still training up those Hussars, just keeping the opponent on his toe. But uh, I feel like at this point, you could have your age up in queue if you, um, if, you, if you didn't do this in the first place. But now we've got some walls going up, defensive walls down to the south. Sheckler does realize this and sends down a, a couple of Hussars, but uh, recalls them. They're trying to get it their way around here, but uh, Hassar's now going to be looking uh, to uh, to potentially defend the Explorer. Explorer does go down 45 experiencing, experiencing uh, 45 experience going over to the way of the German player. And uh, continuing to chase away those Ulans. Just look how much damage those Hussars are doing. And uh, But one of the things to note is that those Hussars aren't killing villagers. We haven't lost a single villager yet. We've been idled for a while as the German player, but that's, that's okay. That's acceptable. We expect that. But uh, the, the Dutch player now going to be seeking to age up to the third age. Sending in 700 food? Oh my lord, this is something you don't see a lot. Uh, 700 food in, in just like an open build order? So he's gone 3 vills, 700 wood, bank wagon, 600 wood, 700 food. I don't know how I feel about the 700 food. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real. Because look, he, he's got the age up in queue now. And he's got 500 food and he's got 2 hussars in, in queue. It's like, Why? Now, the, the deck name is called Huss to Death. Uh, so, he, Sheckler is going to be looking to get out a lot of Hussars onto the field. Uh, potentially sending in these Cavalry Combat upgrades. And uh, more... Five Huss coming out. What, did he... He just cancelled his age up. He just cancelled the age up. That that surely was unintentional. I'm not sure if you guys spotted that. He cancelled the age up. Uh, uh, perhaps he had accidentally aged with something different. And we just didn't scout it out. 
We take a look over at his opponent, Lawn Mowing Simulator, doing his best now. Going to be coming in, potentially picking off one Hussar goes down, two Hussars goes down, three Hussars going to be focused down, but not going to be happening here because more reinforcements are coming in. So six Hussars in total going to be clearing this out, but he does have this gate up, which is going to be enabling this, this Ulan just to be so cheeky. Oh, he's going to be doing this. Oh my lord, I, I know exactly what he's going to be doing. This is so frustrating to deal with because you just need one Hussar up here. And look, look at... Oh, it's so cheeky. Actually, he's got to manage to take out two Minutemen, so not doing a terrible job right there, managing to get the hits. But this gate definitely providing a lot of uh, a lot of assistance. It, does he get it? See, what he needs to do right now is just get him in, uh, in trample mode. It'd be extra funny. But taking down all six of those Minutemen, age up in Q, going to be going up with the XR Prince and dropping down a dock again. Uh, a single fishing boat going to be coming out here. Do we potentially see a play for the gold mines on the islands like we saw in the last game that Lawnmower Simulator played? Sending through Akan economy this early as well. Akan, Akan gold economy going to come through. Doesn't even really need to do, be doing this right now. He's got so much going on. Uh, you know, there's a lot of resources invested in, in here. 200 plus the 325 of each resource here. So that's 525 wood. Then this is 725 wood. So he's invested 725 wood and 325 food into these upgrades and this infrastructure. So a lot of stuff has been going down. But at the same time, you know, you've got Shekla on the back line. Now sending in a thousand wood who's invested a lot of resources in his own infrastructure as well. So no uh, bank cards that he can be sending in from the home city, but does obviously have that unique church card, Religious Freedom. Going to be able to siege down that trading post. So doing a relatively good job. Pulling ahead by a fair amount of score, up 3k. Dutch does typically overscore, but uh, got some spies out already. Oh, Sheckler is just so on the ball. I, I respect this a lot about Sheckler. So he's dropped down this church and I thought, you know, it's just the classic Dutch church that goes down up here. He's only going to be putting this out, you know, just for, for that trickle. And then eventually he's going to transition into religious freedom. Nope. He is making spies. So really, really on the ball from him. The fact that he's got these out so early. Lawn Mowing Simulator doesn't even have his first uh, first mercenaries out yet. And we've already got spies out for the Dutch player. And that's just because he's realized the deck. He's seen the deck. He knows what's happening. He, he sees the outposts up. And we've actually got the spies getting revealed here. So a little bit unfortunate there for Sheckler. Uh, going to be revealing those spies a little bit preemptively. I think the Explorer did go forward and and uh, unfortunately revealed them. But straight away, we see the buyback from the Explorer. So he is very cognizant of that. And now we see the mercenaries that he's got available to him in the, in the, uh, in the tavern. It is the brand new mercenary for anybody unfamiliar with it. There you go. That's a whole lot of words. Dahomey Amazon. So these girls are skirmisher units, and they are a very interesting skirmisher unit. Take a look how much damage these girls do in melee. 35 damage in melee, and this increases in attack speed. So if we have a look here, battle-tested woman bodyguard mercenary of the Dahomey, armed with rifle to counter infantry, throws knives at close targets, attack faster at close range. So the faster, uh, or the, the closer the enemy gets, the faster she's going to attack. You see those knives getting thrown out as well. And just doing a great job to just try and kite back. Hussars now coming in. These are veteran Hussars as well. So they're going to be extra strong. All of these outposts in here are going to begin firing. All three are firing as well as the town center. So doing a great job of just applying pressure. But one of the things to note about the Dahomey Amazons is they, they are extra fast. 5.5 movement speed. So doing their best just to kite back away from these spies going down. Hussars are going to be able to deal with them. 240 HP with 20 melee resist. So still plenty of HP on these girls as well. But they are very, very expensive. 330 coin for one of these bad boys. One of these bad girls, rather, we should say. Good girls, maybe. Bad boys, good girls. You know, so we'll call them good girls. Why not? But uh, now we're in a difficult spot here for Lawnmower Simulator, mainly because idling. Idling is happening right now, so skirmishers coming in to reinforce. A, a single Dahomey Amazon coming out, so you can see there, 300 gold for one of those Dahomey Amazons. Mercenary, imp improved mercenaries coming in. So we don't even see anything like nine Ulans or five Doppels, anything like that. And we take a look. Sheckler just sending in so many units right now. 13 Hussars out on the field. Going to potentially be losing a Settler Wagon here. One Settler Wagon. Definitely. Oh my lord, that just got inside the outpost. More villagers at the back here going down. But uh, it looks like he's managing to do pretty well with just holding on for dear life. Lawnmower Simulator. Has got plenty of resources in the bank. We see three more Dahomies coming out. And uh, going to be able to... I, I suspect probably going to be able to hold that. We do see a, a villager going down a settler wagon rather. But uh, my main concern here is just the fact that there's idling going on. And Dutch has got such an economy right now. 
take a look at the resources that the Dutch player has got. 31 villagers, up to 5 banks, I think. Yeah, we've got 5 banks down here in the the west of the map. And he's just going to be able to continue to funnel in more and more troops uh, from his base. So in total, we've got 16 skirmishes that are out right now. We've got 13 hussars on the field. And the difficult spot for him is that these towers are just doing so much work. What I would really love to see right now, and it's kind of crazy, kind of a little bit crazy, a forward artillery foundry into petards would work wonders right here. Be able to get through all this infrastructure. You know, you'd continue to be able to idle. S still, like, you know, train up those skirmisher batches, train up those hussar batches, but just come forward with a couple of villages, drop that down, and really start to get those petards in. Five petards going to clean up the town center, more petards cleaning up the outpost. Because the issue that you've got are these towers are doing so much damage to your army. They've got a bonus against cavalry as well, so they're going to be able to snipe down these hussars doing a little bit more damage. And now that Dahomey, Amazons, now keep in mind, these guys have got the same audio as sound as villagers, female villagers. So if you hear those villagers going down, it's actually the Dahomeys that are going down. Uh, even though their voice lines are different, their, their battle cries are the same as villagers. You'll hear that, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Under the sea. All right, and we're back over to the battle. Back over to the battle. The Hissars are looking to chase away. Just a couple more villages and take a look. We've got eight villages in here. No villages here, but uh, four villages uh, or four uh, fishing boats out. Nothing on this gold mine just yet. Uh, probably a little bit too, too APM heavy to really get villages out over onto that gold mine. Dahomey is just doing a great job of just distracting the opponent. Looking to take down this second outpost. The first one has gone down. Eight villages inside this one, so got to be careful. Five doppels now. Moving into position, looking to chase away those Hussars and doing a great job. Bit careful up here to the north he needs to be because that's a lot of uh, a lot of settler wagons and they're very low HP. Doppels now connecting with the Hussars as they continue to move north. The Doppels are going to try and get their best connections in that they can. These, these settler wagons need to move back sooner rather than later because even though the skirmisher mass is dwindling, the, uh, the Hussar mass is not. So Hussars are going to be able to start picking off these settler wagons. First settler wagon looks to be going down. There she goes, and no more settler wagons going down, despite them all having such low HP. Dahomey, Amazon down here to the south, and we, we see that the Dutch push, despite the Dutch player being up 9,000 score at the moment, has somewhat come to a bit of a hold. That is incredible to see that the Dutch is that far ahead, 9,000 score, despite losing just, you know, full army. I guess the, the German player, on the other hand, really hasn't been doing a lot. He's just been idled this entire time, and he doesn't have five banks that can just sit there, you know, doing doing his own thing but now we've got villagers 16 villagers down to the south oh you know what's happening you know what's happening ladies and gentlemen it is going to be that all important villager transfer they're migrating this is not the oromo migration this is the villager migration 10 villagers popping in that that fishing boat going to be heading over he wants to try and get more villagers over here but doesn't realize he's got to be so careful those stradiots are out now if those stradiots pop what, spot what is happening there's going to be a, a little bit of difficulty because this gold mine is scouted for him. He knows about this gold mine. So if he, he puts one and one together, he's going to know, wait a minute, he's over there mining gold. Speaking of mining gold, we've now got Circular Saw coming in. 35 villages for the Dutch player. So a very decent economy for him. He's going to be able to send through these two factories once he reaches the fourth age because he is going up with the Viceroy. If I remember correctly, the Viceroy provides uh, gold as well as villages. But I'm not 100% sure, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Dahomey's doing a great job here, just forcing back these Stradiots. Going to be connecting with a couple of Ulans and scaling, I said scaling, scaling down the movement speed, snaring down the movement speed. And look how much damage is coming off on those guys. 42 damage, just a huge amount of damage right here. And uh, now throwing off some knives as well. Keep in mind, these knives are in melee, so it's going to bypass that all-important range resist that those Stradiots have got. We take a look back over at the Dutch player. We'll have a look exactly what they've aged up with that Viceroy. But this is going to be absolutely no problem for these units to handle. God damn, they do so much damage. Look at that. Holy moly. And it is indeed the five villages as well as the 400 coin that Sheckler has aged up with. So going to be providing him some pretty decent economy bonuses there. Also dropping down a second town center towards the north. So going to be able to max out on villages. And uh, five more spies being created now. Because he knows that those Dahomies are going to be uh, a little bit of an issue. So getting those spies out is really going to help him out. We take a look back at Law Noah Simulator. He's setting in a thousand wood here, so not too bad. He's got his uh, Royal Mint as well as the Silversmith upgrade in. Sent through improved mercenaries and now sending in those resource crates and now beginning to move out across the map with the Dahomies. Dahomies looking very good, very strong. 42 damage is just so much damage. Look how quickly he just took down all those Reuters. 
five of them going down straight away and beginning to push up. Look how fast they move as well. 5.5 movement speed. Keep in mind, these girls are going to be able to get upgraded as well. They're going to be able to have things like advanced arsenal uh, that get sent in and uh, potentially things like... Um, I, don't, I don't think there's any other upgrades that affect them, but the advanced arsenal is definitely going to affect them. So up to almost six movement speed that they'll have and uh, killing a couple more villagers. So four villagers going down here, down to 38 villagers and spies beginning to move forward. Now, spies don't do particularly well uh, against against mercenaries, especially against Dahomies, just because of how strong the Dahomey is. The Dahomey is a very strong military unit. Spies have got a 20 times bonus against mercenaries, so they do 100 uh, attack. You'd think that that's a lot, right? But it's really not. Uh, even when you get out like a large mass of spies like this, it's really not going to be a huge amount against Dahomies, simply because they're so damn fast. They're basically like a, a Dragoon unit. That's how quick they are. So really something to keep an eye out on. So we check back in and we see that uh, our German player is now upgrading trade galleons. So on this map, we do have that all important Carrick, Oceanic Carrick, that is going to be providing us our trickles of uh, experience or gold or whatever it is we choose to have. But uh, Lawnmower Simulator looking to upgrade that to the uh, to the next level. Ulan's now going through, scouting out a couple, couple of factories here. So knowing that the economy for the Dutch player is really starting to take off, up 9k score at the moment, picking off a single villager. And then just making his way out down towards the south of the map. We're going to keep an eye on him. But uh, once again, we see more villagers now getting picked off by the German player. So doing a great job of, of raiding. And just look how effective he is at taking out these, these units. 1.3 attack speed. 1.2 attack speed right there we see. And look how quickly they drop down. It's not even close. More spies now going to be coming out. Trying to flank. But it's one of those things where it's just like... As long as you've got this explorer out scouting out these spies... He's never really going to be in, into a decent position where he's going to be potentially threatened by spies. So now that that has gone down, you would expect that he'd be in a good spot, but take a look at these Dahomies, how quickly they just mow through these spies. The fact that they reduce their uh, their attack speed uh, against closer units just means that they melt anything that gets up on top of them. So now the mass is beginning to build 25 Dahomies at this point. So it is a tough spot for our Dutch player. We can see that the scores now come down to about 6k difference, 30 Dahomies out in total. And we do have that Galleon coming in. So now the Trade Galleon is in. The, the last upgrade is not going to be available just yet. East India Trading Company. But uh, more Ulans in the back of the base of the Dutch player. Just looking to provide a little bit of pressure and, and you know, prevent that APM from really reaching maximum level. More Dahomies coming in as well as Advanced Arsenal. This is what I'm looking forward to. Because the Dahomies are going to get very well affected by Advanced Arsenal. There's going to be three upgrades in there for them. Not only do they have the Speed Upgrade, they're going to have the Health Upgrade as well as the Attack Upgrade. They've also got counter-infantry rifling in the normal arsenal if they opt for that. Uh, but uh, definitely not needed against the Dutch player because I can't imagine how beers are going to be getting made against this many Dahomies. It just doesn't seem like the right move. But not only do the Dahomies have 42 ranged attack and 42 melee attack, they've also got 42 siege attack. So just when you thought the developers couldn't enjoy 42 more, that's when they went crazy. So... They've, uh, they've gone for another 42. So now we see those upgrades coming through. Military drummer is going to be the first one. No surprise. We take a look over at Sheckler. See what he's up to. Yeah. Training up more spies. I feel like at this point, this is the correct response. You need horse artillery. You have to have horse artillery uh, against your opponent. There, there, there's no two ways about this because it is the only response. You, you need either falconets or horse artillery. Horse artillery is, is normally the best option. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it is going to effectively counter these Dahomies. You, you know, you've got four or five of these out with Reuters and Skirms. You're going to be in a great spot. Now the horse artillery coming out. Three horse artillery doing their best to try and get shots and make them connect with the Dahomies. 40 Dahomies out right now. So I tell you what, that is absolutely uh, a huge mass. But uh, with that, I suspect we, we already see a culverin in queue. So Arsenal had been put down already for Lawnmower Simulator, expecting that there may be artillery on the way. Potential heavy cannons even. And, uh, and that has already been picked up. We do see 6.05 movement speed. So a very, very high movement speed there. More than a Rodolero uh, at, at its base level. So some impressive stuff right there. Considering the stats on these gals, that is pretty insane. I'm trying to think what these units are actually um, emulating when it comes. Because normally a mercenary unit is a, a copy of uh, another unit that is just fast, or is just uh, stronger, like an Im imperial version of the unit. But I can't think of anything that actually has these stats. So it's pretty insane. We take a look now. Villagers, oh, these girls are going to get melted. Two villagers, three villagers, four, five, six villagers, all going down so bloody quick. That was damn insanity. 
they just take it down so quick. More uh, siege now moving towards the north. Going to be beginning to siege down this wall at the north, taking down that gate as well. So opening it up, we've got three culverins coming out. So don't seem to have the uh, Gunner's Quadrant upgrade on these bad boys just yet. He's got to be careful when he moves these into position because very easily cavalry could be coming up and, and taking these culverins out. But I guess the homies are just so quick, he's really not too worried about it. And speaking of worried... Down here towards the south. Look at that. 1,600 coin on that bad boy. How much coin is on this one? 2,600 coin on that bad boy. Right there. So plenty of coin. First volley going to be going off. Taking out those horse artillery. We spot more at the back there. Four out in total. Does he get the second shot? He gets the lock. And now we've got Hussars coming out. Dahomey's going to be preventing them from coming through. And that's a fair mass of Hussars as well. But Dahomey's really just saying, you know what? I'm not even fussed. 17 Hussars. Now the spy's going in invis as well. Dahomey's moving out. And you can see them just sort of positioning themselves, trying to find those all-important artillery pieces. There's the artillery pieces. They do get spotted out. Culverin undoubtedly going to be locking on. There's the first shot. So now we've lost three horse artillery for Shekla. Dahomey's doing their best just to try and prevent any... Oh, look at the block right there. Beautiful block from the Dahomey's getting up in amongst it. And look how quickly they're attacking. 1.6 movement speed, and all of the spies have come out from behind. A beautiful surround here from our Dutch player. Doesn't really look like he gets behind the Dahomies as much as he needs to. Plenty of Dahomies still remain. 33 Dahomies, and they managed to kite themselves back. All the culverin have gone down. I think we've got a single uh, potential horse artillery that remains. No, all horse artillery have been taken down. Dahomies kiting away, preventing their opponents from really getting up on top of them. And Dahomies just looking so damn strong at the moment. Explorer in amongst the action here. Going to be potentially getting off any snares. No, just Explorer moving out of the way. Obviously wants to keep this alive for any other spies that do come in. 34 Dahomies still out right now. And just not a single unit is going down. They're putting out so much DPS. It is absolute insanity how much these girls do. Once they start to get massed up, 33 Dahomies out right now. Sheckler still up about 4k score at this point, but you would have to say that Sheckler definitely seems like he may be behind, but I say that. Look how quickly... Oh no! They've just run right up on top. Sheckler, wake up! Sheckler, wake up! Two or three volleys managed to get off before all of those horse artillery go down. Imagine if those horse artillery had not been sleeping at the wheels. You would have a lot of dead Dahomies. But instead, you've got 33 dead Dahomies running around. Maybe if there'd been a couple more units in there to block as well. And now Lawn Mowing Simulator has taken the lead with the score. More villagers going to be going down as well. Sheckler on 42 villagers. He's still got plenty of uh, of banks up and fa double factories. But keep in mind, now, oh no, horse artillery. More of them going to be going down. Look how quick these Dahomies just get on top of it. Two going down straight away. Third one just going down instantly. You know, if, if you blink, you just miss that. They are so damn quick. Explorer now down to the south. Does he get off the crack shot? Let's see. Crack shot does not get off. No surprises there. Ulan's in the back of the base as well. Going to be looking to potentially idle some villagers. But my main fear right now is for these factories of Shekla. Because these girls, not only are they fast, not only are they pretty, but they've got 47 siege on them. That's a lot of siege. That is a huge amount of siege. And when you've got... How many does he actually have? He's got 30. So going to just be focusing the town center. Look how much damage that is. That's 1,500 damage in a single volley. So that, that's like, what, six or five volleys? And it's going to take this out? Maybe six volleys. And the town center's gone down. Then just go for the factories. It, I mean, I'm, it's curious that he's going for the town center. I guess he's scared of a bit of a pop, maybe potentially coming from the town center. I don't think we've got two Falks or two uh, heavies in deck. We do not. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. Now we've got some spies coming in as well. And just giving the old run around to Shekla. More spies. Just look, look how quickly these spies go down. One, two, three, four. Just it, not even close. They just... Beautiful micro there from the Dahomey Amazon player. And uh, now that factory going to get focused down. 1,200 HP left on that. A total of uh, how many have we got now? 37 Dahomies in the base of uh, of Shekla. So a difficult spot for him. I feel like at this point, it's it's pretty much well and truly over. Uh, this is a really good role. So when it comes to mercenaries, the way that they work, uh, you, it's essentially RNG. It's random. You don't get to choose what mercenaries you get out of the tavern. It was very, very fortunate that the lawnmower simulator not only got this map which is a very very nice map for the germans a very nice map for them for a uh, a mercenary strat but he got this role as well with the dahomey amazons probably one of the best I i'm gonna go out and say that the best mercenary i'm gonna say if, if there was a tier list for mercenaries right now these girls are up there these girls oh it's it's hard to say actually are these guys are they they're not heavy infantry are they yeah, see, they're not heavy infantry. These girls lose skirmisher wars to, say, a um, to Jaegers. But they basically beat everything else. So I'm, I'm going to go out on a, on a limb and say this is the best mercenary in the game right now. 
That because you can't kill this. It, you genuinely can't kill it. Even with 17 hussars, with cav combat, veteran upgrades, you can't kill them. Look how quickly they melt these. These are royal guard, blue guard musketeers uh, fr from the Dutch. It's 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 insane. So th these units are a skirmisher unit, okay, with 7.15 movement speed. Yeah, it's 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 just your classic 7.15 movement speed skirmisher unit. Uh, now keep in mind the the base movement speed for these units is 5.5. Our German player has got two upgrades. The first one being military drummers from the advanced arsenal. The second one being from the Treaty of Westphalia, which is the unique church upgrade for the Germans. And uh, they they've got a lot of speed. They've got a lot of speed, but. They've got the range of a skirmisher, the damage of a skirmisher, the bonuses of a skirmisher, the siege of a musketeer, and uh, the hand attack of a, of a halberdier focusing down a... a <laughs> focusing down artillery like their culverins, sieging down like their Swiss pikes. They are just absolutely everywhere, but they are expensive. Keep that in mind. 330 coin for each one of these girls, so they are quite expensive. But if there's a map to do it on... It is going to be this map because just take a look how much coin is in the base right now. So a total of 10,000 coin in the base of our German player. Uh, he's got plenty of coin down here to the south. A plantation or sorry, an estate over here. And uh, and a couple more gold mines up here to the north as well that he could potentially be accessing. Including this one in the middle. So he's just happy. He's got 25,000 gold that... Uh, well, I, I say 25,000 gold. He's had... Uh, yeah, 25,000 gold that he's been able to access throughout this game uh, in gold mines alone. So plenty of units. And... Just look, 15 to homies, just, you know, zoning off guard hussars at this point. It's incredible. And there, there's more to homies now up here to the north, 22. And look how fast they are. They just, they're just going to run away. They're actually faster than the hussars because these ones are, these are coffee trade hussars from the Dutch. So they're actually slower movement speed. So it's a consequence of taking the extra two banks that the Dutch get. They lose this. And now we've got a flute coming out. Going to potentially look to uh, be zoning down some of these uh, Dahomies, but look at them sieging down the flute as well, saying, get out of here, you flute. And uh, doing just an amazing job, the Dahomies. Look how fast they attack. 1.33 attack speed. Just melting through these guard hussars like they are just butter. And Dahomies are a hot knife right now. This is insanity. So they, these things aren't even heavy infantry. So like the Fusilier, as an example, is a similar unit, but it's not heavy infantry. So it doesn't get counted by skirmishers. The, the, the Fusilier is a very good unit, except for the fact that it gets countered by skirmishers, which makes it a lot worse uh, as a unit. But the fact that this doesn't get countered by skirmishers, which is, you know, the most common unit that gets made, just makes it such an incredibly difficult to deal with unit. Uh, so Dahomies are going to be pushing our Dutch player off, putting them in a very da bad spot, down to 10 villagers at this point. So really just raiding his opponent to death. We take a look back at the German player, the lawnmower simulator he's on 56 villages at the moment obviously a lot of those are going to be settler wagons as well if we take a look surely there's going to be settler wagons somewhere around here there's i can't there's not a single settler wagon i can spot so it's uh it's 56 raw villages that you've got right there lawnmower simulator going to be pushing into the base of the dutch player looking to potentially take down some banks spotting some spies up the north and just cleaning up completely i i feel like at this point the game is 100 percent over 7k score difference despite despite the difference in age the Dahomies have proven themselves to me. I'm very satisfied to call this right now. They are 100% an S tier mercenary. Probably an S plus tier mercenary with how good they are. They are just... It is insane. Uh, I, th I think that when it comes to trading, uh, potentially if... See, the thing is they actually beat skirmishes as well because they've got the melee attack. They just get up close. They, they beat skirmishes as well. S plus tier. Best mercenary in the game. They would beat Jaegers as well because they wouldn't even need to trade. They would just literally walk up to them, throw their daggers... And oh, it's it's the dervish, the, the the dervish. It is it's like a dervish with 20 range. Oh my lord, dude, that's insanity. It is actually insanity. Oh gosh, this unit is crazy good, dude. Going to the fourth age now. Uh, I don't even know if that's really necessary at this point. I feel like unless you're just going to be shipping in, uh, you know, uh, factories at this point. I mean, that's probably all you've got access to. But you're not going to get any additional upgrades for your dahomies. I guess you could probably go Imperial. And now we see the Spies coming in. Spies are just going to get absolutely... Mo that, Spies are actually doing a pretty decent job here. Spies taking out a lot of Dahomies when uh, when he wasn't paying attention. So got to be careful. Down to 19 Dahomies. I think he lost about 11 Dahomies. But uh, Shek calling the GG nonetheless. And the Dahomies coming out victorious. So, fellas, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the new... Brand new mercenary unit, the Dahomey. And undoubtedly one of the best mercenary units that has ever been in this game. 
If you disagree with that statement, then uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.